Hello there, welcome back to my workshop. Today we're looking at the Rook. It's a mostly 3D printed 3D printer. The Rook was designed by Rollerhand 3D and is totally open source. The idea is that we use as many old parts from old printers and things that we've upgraded as possible and we print the frame. So it's very easy to get going. There's only a few parts that you might need to order. So let's take a look at my Rook. So here you can see the Rook and it's very small. The dimensions are 23 by 30 by 40, depending on the options that you choose. The bed is 120 by 120 and approximately 100 on the Z. The motion system is a Core XY, so no moving of the bed. That means that we can print faster. The tool head is made to be as light as possible. The original one used an external blower fan but I've decided to print what's called the Rookery. And this is a custom one made by Kulsafa over on the Discord. The board that I'm using is the MKS Skipper, S-K-I-P-R. And that's an all-in-one board and it contains the MCU for controlling the actual printer and also a Raspberry Pi alternative. So Clipper runs on the one board. We don't need to have a separate controller and Raspberry Pi. My top and bottom parts are printed in uh, everyone sparkle black. The bed frame is printed in black PETG just because it was on the printer that I needed to use. The motion system parts are printed in polycarbonate carbon fiber and it almost ruined my Prusa but it was all worth it. They look fantastic. Let's get a print going. So we'll just do a classic mini Joel and I still have some high five blue. So I use Orca Slicer and I've got a rough profile. I'm still working on the overhangs and the cooling setup, I've not quite dialed it in yet, but it's close enough. And as we'll see, uh, it's printing okay. It's like 5,000 acceleration, 100 millimeters per second, and that's just fine. I have tested it up to 500 millimeters per second, but it couldn't go too high on the acceleration. So like 250 millimeters per second printing, and say 20,000 acceleration, I should be good. You'll see that it's wobbling, and that's because I've got it on some Technics turntable feed, which is something that I had spare, and it should be okay. But I'm guessing the resonance testing isn't going to like that. So one of the parts that I'm going to carry on doing is making a proper base with some proper feet. It's not a high flow nozzle, so I can't go super fast. It's just a V6, but it is a V6 mount, and eventually I'll probably stick something in there like a Revo, just because most of my other printers have them as well. So we finished printing the Mini Joel. If we have a closer look, the quality is not too bad at all. And like I said, it's mainly the overhangs. So Mini Joel does have a soggy bottom and those lower parts on the hands, they're not so great. It was curling up a little bit, but like I said, it's early days on setting up the profile. And overall, I'm very, very happy with how it prints. So thank you for looking at this. I will put a link in the description to all the GitHubs and all the files and the parts that I brought, everything that you would need to build your own Rook. And I recommend that you head on over to the Rook Discord and join in. Absolutely fantastic bunch of people. They're all really, really helpful. And just the fact that uh, I, I literally turned up there and within a couple of hours, somebody had made me a custom tool head. You can't really ask for more than that. The 3D print community just continues to be amazing. So thank you for looking at this. Other projects are still going on, the Atari 28 joystick and a Spectrum Plus style keyboard. I'm very close on that one. So there will be more videos coming soon. Thanks, bye.